my director two plays called Toyer by Gardner McKay. Hope you enjoy. Thank you. It's very welcoming. <laughs> it's pretty as well. Uh, uh, operator. Yes, a club called Outrageous in West Hollywood. Yes. Oh, thank you. I'm forever thanking computer voices. I was right, by the way. Four six seven seven two seven two. Busy. Well, 
Um, I'll just try a few more times, that's okay. If he's not there, then I'll... Go home? Yes. And if he is there... Then, then you'll go pick him up. Of course. Okay. <laughs> so how can you know so little about cars? Well, I just became a doctor. I thought you were something. <laughs> words, words, words. Look, how about I call so you can get going? Uh, my roommate and I have to get up earlier. So you're tomorrow. a doctor? I'm Peter. Psychiatrist. And I'm Peter. Maud. I've always loved that name, Maud. Okay, good. So, you're a psychiatrist. And you're a mechanic. No, 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 I'm a palmist. A what? I read palms. Peter, I'm exhausted. Could you just make your call? I do outrageous all the time, parties, things of that sort. They pay me for the evening. I get they do. Yes. <laughs> You know, you'd love it. People sit down, and I tell them what they ought to do with their lives. Let me give you my card. Look, would you just make, finish making your call, please? Will they ever stop talking about him? Who? This toy jerk. He's killed again. I will never call him a killer. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, let me see. No, 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 no. Show me. No. Hold it up. <laughs> Only if you'll go. <laughs> You've just come out of a depression. Oh, who hasn't? I haven't. <laughs> and you're very optimistic. Who isn't? Wish I was. <laughs> oh. You have a tiny pinky and a stubborn thumb. And how much would all this cost me at outrageous? <laughs> Oh God, look at that. At what? The way your thumb meets your index finger is called lascivia. Oh, it's crap. What's it supposed to mean? I won't tell you. Okay, Peter, it's time to go. Come on. Who lives up the hill behind the house? Anyone? Deers and coyotes. Why? I saw a movement. I thought it must be somebody. Maybe a deer. Does he wear a jogging suit? He jogs. All night long. This Toyer thing has all you women paranoid. Please. Paranoia is an advanced mental disorder. Come on, Peter, I'm not paranoid. Let me just call my roommate one more time. Carl. Carl, it's Peter. Yes, it's Peter there. A banger. <laughs> that comes. Well, no, fuck it, fuck it, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Carl. Thank you. Busy? Or what, bad news? Peter's into finance tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Peter. I'll live. And his name is Peter, too? Was. <coughs> so, I need a drink. <coughs> oh. I guess you could go in there and make some tea, I suppose. Tea isn't a drink. I need a drink. There's vodka, tequila, I don't know. Glasses are above the bottles, ice in the freezer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing for you, something to get your mind off of the scary noise. Is that toy or jerk creeping around? Oh, I don't believe he's out there. Why would he be? Why do you constantly bring him up? Just the way he operates. <laughs> What he does. Not what he does, just how he does it. What about it? How he avoids killing them. <laughs> oh, he kills them, don't you worry. He doesn't kill them. I can't tell the difference. But the law can. Well, the law's a joke. To turn someone into a vegetable, they call it mayhem. To unlawfully deprive someone of their bodily functions, no intent to kill. What's the sentence for that? Two to six years. But they're not even dead. I know they're not dead. Everybody knows they're not dead, you bitmo. That's the whole point. That's why he's called the Toyer. Gosh, why don't you put yourself in a wheelchair? Hey, don't hit me. Come on, I didn't do anything. Don't get so upset. You ought to be stunned by it. It's only been a year. After a year, after a day, I don't ever want to get used to it. And you know what the real crime is, is that we know about it. What? Crime isn't that it happens, it's that we know about it. What? Well, you read 
about it and you say, okay, and you turn the page as if it were meant to happen. It's not. That's right, you moron, it's not. But who cares? Don't turn the page until you can figure it out and maybe even do something about it. He really uses drugs. Yeah, animal tranquilizers, I would think. And he really uses those skewers like the ones we used in high school biology to pit frogs with. Most people wouldn't even attempt cervical functions. Well, that's why most men have to settle for simple rape. Oh, <laughs> Does a lawyer, you know? Does he fuck them? Yeah, maybe once or twice. It's not worth it. Not for them, anyway. Ella, oh, Jesus, you really are something. Put yourself in a wheelchair, pushed into your outrages. Can't read palms, can't speak, can't move. These women are living toys watered like plants, pushed around for the rest of their lives. It's scary. You might just be out there. I, I had an admirer this last night. He moved the curtain. He was even whispering my name. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the window was open. He could have ripped the screen and stepped right in. He said, I love you, like I'd never heard it before. How? I don't know. The cops came. They even found a clue. A pocket mirror? Yes. How'd you know? Lucky guess. <laughs> no, no. Absolutely no one knew about that but me. And the cops took it as evidence. I don't know why he'd leave it. I dropped it. It's mine. Okay, Peter, it's yours. And now it's getting very late. And my roommate and I, we have to get up early, so... Your tongue feels like one of those crackers. Saltine. The hell it does, Peter. Look, I've been very patient with you. If you happen to be my admirer, a, a scopophiliac... A what? There's a new word for you, Peter. Scopophiliac. <laughs> it's nudity without being noticed by What me. about pretty nails? Look, you seem to be relating to it with humor, so... Why don't we call it a night? Uh, you have your friend at Outrageous to get a hold of, so... Oh, I didn't call him. I cut the phone lines, anyway. Look, my roommate is right up there, and she's been listening to all of this, and she has a gun, so... She's go. up there. My fiancé is going to be here any minute Paul. now. Paul's not coming. You broke up with Paul, didn't you? <laughs> I ask why you're doing this. I've been watching you. Look, I'm getting pissed off, Peter. Out! I wish I could go. Mom. Look, I'm, I'm not afraid of you. I've, I have dealt with this in my line of work. You're a scopophiliac, uh, which is perfectly okay. And that being the case, you don't feel the need to touch women, so you wouldn't force me to do anything I don't want to do. Is that right? Look, let's make an agreement. This bra is killing me, and I'm uh, wearing a very thin top, and my breasts will feel much better against it, so I'm going to take off my top, and then take off my bra, and put it back on, and you can watch. Would you mind? But when I'm done, you have to go. I wish I could be Maud. Peter, if you break our agreement, I will scream. You should scream if you want to, Maud. No, please don't! <laughs> oh, Maud, I know what you're thinking. You've always wondered what the toy looks like. This is what he looks like, Maud. You call me a beast. No, when we make love, it will be because you want to. No, no, I'm not making love to you. Help! 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 Got a little surprise for you, Maud. A little present. You're going to stay exactly the way you are. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This got way too carried away. I, I let it go too far. Look. What? I'm an actor. <laughs> <laughs> Okay? He told us to create this 
character, make him organic, let him breathe. I wanted a toyer. He's been stuck in my brain all week long. I guess I wanted to create him, see what I could do with it, show it to somebody, and treat you, Maud. But what did you get out of putting me through all of this? Well, I told you, I'm in an advanced acting workshop. Man, I mean, come on, you're beautiful. I'm sorry, you are. What do you mean? Look, I know you weren't acting, but a lot of your choices were valid. Uh, come on. <laughs> Hey, look, 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 look. Just one last thing. You'd make a hell of an actress. Oh my god, I mean, all of your, your choices, everything. You've got depth, you've got presence, it just works. You really believe. I don't. Just stop. I don't know what to believe. Anything, just go. Look, 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 okay, come on, trust me. Look, I said I got the phone lines, remember? Check the phone. Just check it. You gotta trust me. Look, let me make you a drink. It's the least I could do. Oh my god.